If you want to create your title in Keynote and then export it into iMovie so that it's a, a little bit cuter, which what we talked about, I've taken all of, all of my font and my images and I've grouped them together. So now I'm going to add an animation and I'm going to start with a build in and I am going to choose dissolve. And then I'm going to do build out and I am going to also choose dissolve. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. The first way you can do it is you can just go file, export, and you export it to a quick time. Now it's self plane, go to the next slide after five minutes. We, I mean, I'm sorry, five seconds. Um, go to the next build after two seconds. That's actually pretty long. Um, I always change my format to the higher quality and then I would choose next and put it on my desktop. So that's one way that you can save it as a um, quick time. The other way if you want it more custom is if you just go up to play and then you choose record slideshow. Then you go down here and you hit hit your um, start recording audio or start recording and then I'm just gonna use my spacebar and then it's gonna go out and then I'm gonna stop recording. Okay, then I'm going to hit escape to get back. I'm again going to go to file, export to QuickTime. And I have a movie recording. So the playback is the recording. I'm going to change it to the higher quality. I'm going to click next. I'm going to call this intro on my desktop because it's easier for me to put into iMovie there. So then I'm going to go over to my iMovie and I'm just going to Go to my desktop, and where is it? I'm just gonna slide it over here. This is there's an easier way to do this, but I'm gonna slide my intro into my iMovie. Now five and seconds might be a long slide. time for that intro to happen, so I just take my slider and I go to right about where it shows up, and I go back right where it fades out. I'm going to clip that out. Of course, I'm going to extract this audio so that you don't hear it. Delete it. Come on, delete. And then here you go. There's your customized title. So it's that easy.